Next, we will be demonstrating how to properly flash a typical 2x6 skylight curve with IB membrane. Start by removing the skylight so that the IB membrane can be adequately placed all the way to the top. Use a tape measure to make 5 inch guideline marks on each side of the curve. Then lay out the plates. Whether it is a mechanically attached or fully adhered project, this must be done. In this demonstration, we will be doing this at 12 inches on center. Ensuring a proper perimeter attachment is very important. Next, cut the sheet wide enough to go 5 inches out on the roof deck and all the way up past the top of the skylight curve. Then, tack weld the sheet into place by following the previously made guideline marks. When approaching a corner, simply cut it and wrap it around, tack welding the sheet into place. Again, cut toward the corner on the bottom 5 inch overlap only and wrap it around. Then, wrap the initial corner with a couple inches around. Simply nail it to the curb to hold it tight. and then the tail end of the sheet will then be cut and secured in place. Again, cut in towards the corner. With the end sheet being cut completely off. Once it is even, tack weld it into place. Once completed, this makes an aesthetically pleasing detail. After welding all the way to the top, it is time to weld the bottom perimeter edge. Again, always keep the gun nozzle tip out slightly so that it is not completely underneath the seam. An automatic walker welder can be used to weld such skylight details as desired. Once all sides have been completed, it is time to start securing the membrane to the top of the skylight curb. This will make your flashing watertight. Once the ends have been cut, tack the membrane to the top of the curb using galvanized roofing nails. And simply weld the top corners down. Once in place, start installing the IB 60mm non-reinforced factory preformed outside corners. Set into place and tack weld to the bottom. 
Make sure the top is exactly where it should be and apply two more tack welds, holding it firmly in place. Now it can simply be welded up. Always weld the turnips first. This is generally done on both sides. Once this is completed, the remaining perimeter can then be finished. Again, the 60 mil non-reinforced welds very quickly. If using a Leister handheld heat gun, a setting of 6 or 7 is preferable. This allows for adequate time to get a solid weld without being pressured to go too fast and possibly char the material. If the gun is turned down to 6 or 7, the membrane can be welded up nicely. Once all four corners are installed, you can see that a completed IB roof system skylight is very aesthetically pleasing. Set the skylight back on and hold the skylight in place using neoprene rubber washer fasteners. The skylight is now complete. Next will be a pipe boot flashing.